Welcome back to my channel. My name is Blair if you're new here and today we're doing a, another Walmart grocery haul. Um, I spent about $140. I will point out one thing is not here. It had to be shipped. Um, I don't know if you've seen ads but Starbucks came out with mini cans of their Frappuccinos and I wanted to get some so I could have them for summer. Um, that way it's just convenient for going to the pool and putting it in your cooler. So those are being shipped so that you will not see but everything else it was included in that $144. Um, I tried a budget for 125. I really honestly am starting to think some things might need to be ch adjusted to 150. However, I also know that some of the stuff I bought was either restocking or things that I would not normally buy. And I will explain. Um, I'm going to go through this, explain to you the meals. There are a few things I don't have that I will be buying on the off week because they're fresh ingredients and I didn't want them to go bad. Um, so you won't see those and I probably won't point them out anyway. But just want to let you know that um, this should be enough though for one person for two weeks, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I'm going to start with the non-food items, which I don't typically count. So you could technically take that out of that 144 because um, I do budget for that stuff separately. But let's get started. I'll show you what I got and I'll explain the meals I'm making. Okay, so non-grocery items, toilet paper, paper towel. I was out of, or almost out of paper towel, toilet paper I just buy every time I grocery, grocery shopping. So starting over here, um, I got eggs. I needed a restock, but I'm also doing egg salad for lunch um, for the second week. And I also got the bread for that. I usually do it open face and two eggs, and that will be lunch for week two. Honestly, just craving some cereal, so I bought some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I got ciabatta rolls because I'm going to make BLTs for the first week for lunch. And then I bought these yellow corn tortillas because I'm doing a recipe by Half Baked Harvest. It's a easy skillet, cheesy green chili enchilada bake. That's a mouthful. I didn't realize these were so small, but I probably will end up using multiples then. Again, I was really in a snacky mood, so I got some coffee flavored Oreos and a restock on popcorn because I was out and I like to have that in the cupboard when I'm craving a snack and watching a movie. Um, I got Italian style breadcrumbs and this is for a, uh, they call it like dilly chicken. It was a recipe I found on HelloFresh. I heard somebody else mention it and I wanted to try it. So I bought those just to bread the chicken. Um, I also got some no salt lemon pepper seasoning from Kinder. Um, I'm also going to do a lemon pepper chicken on one week. I needed to replace my baking powder. Mine was kind of old. I realized when I baked last time, so time to replace. I got some chicken broth and I think this is for two meals. Yes. Okay. So this is for two meals. It's actually for a cheesy kielbasa rice and broccoli skillet and the lemon pepper chicken. Um, salsa Verde, this is for the half-baked harvest meal. Um, Rotel I bought because I want to try a recipe and I have some uh, sausage in the freezer that I need to use up and a little bit of Bisquick, so I might give that recipe a whirl, but it's not really for a meal, just a potential test meal. Um, I bought these Ritz toasted chips, sour cream and onion. Never had them. We're going to try it, but again, snacky mood. Uh, the cilantro lime rice I bought to go with the half-baked harvest meal because she did mention this is a potential side item, so I got that. Um, I ran out of graham crackers, rice just to restock in the cupboard. I also got some maraschino cherries and some Sprite Zero and then this real gourmet cream of coconut. Um, I'm also testing out some mocktail recipes for a potential future video, so I needed to get the stuff for that. And then of course sugar, gotta have the sugar in the cupboard. Mostly cold stuff, so I'm gonna get through this quickly so I can put it away. Um, almond milk, cause I'm back to my overnight oats for two meals for breakfast during the week. And I have some regular milk, as I've always mentioned, I'm not lactose intolerant. I just like the taste of this and it lasts longer in the fridge. Once again, snacky mood. So I got some string cheese. Um, I'm taking the easy way out and bought some microwave bacon for the BLTs. 
heavy whipping cream. I believe this is for the lemon pepper chicken because it's kind of like a creamy version. And then I got the turkey kielbasa for the kielbasa recipe. Um, triple cheddar for I think the cheesy rice skillet one and then Fiesta blend um, and then in here we have chicken tenders probably a large pack of them uh, this is for both the lemon pepper chicken and the um, what was the other one? Oh, the dilly chicken recipe um, I'm going to split this between those two uh, I got some romaine lettuce for my BLTs onion this is for the half baked harvest and I think the cheesy skillet uh, garlic also for the same two. I got a green pepper for the kielbasa skillet, a uh, poblano pepper for the half-baked harvest, uh, Roma tomatoes, this is for the um, BLTs, uh, broccoli, not gonna lie, this is really sad. I may have to buy more when I run to food line tomorrow. Um, and then a pineapple, this is also for the mocktails, but also just to have a fruit on hand and I love pineapple with some cinnamon on it. Don't mind the dog's medication. <laughs> And I did forget to mention, also, I got the Light and Fit Peach Greek and the Creme Brulee. These, again, Snacky Mood. And you know what I forgot to mention? I restocked on chicken sausage. Sorry, my brain is scattered tonight. Um, I got apple chicken, the Chipotle Monterey Jack, and the Jalapeno Cheddar, which this one I just had for dinner last night and the night before. And I just made some white rice and I bought the Walmart brand, I think it's like peppers and onion frozen blend. And I just sauteed that up and it made this, topped it with a little bit of shredded cheese and some sour cream. That was really good. All right, once again, that's my Walmart grocery haul, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I didn't mention it, but breakfast sandwiches are still prepped for these next two weeks. So I didn't have to buy anything for that. Those are in the freezer. Um, I think that's the last thing to mention. Oh, ground beef. I do need ground beef for the half-baked harvest meal and I'm going to Food Lion tomorrow to get that part because I have a $1.50 off coupon I need to use before the end of the month anyway. Might as well get the beef cheaper while I can. So that should be everything. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe you got a meal idea. Um, as always, I hope everybody has a blessed day. Mm -hmm.